I think that's good. Today we're going to show you how to change out the factory OBS bumper for a 6.4 and or like a 2008-2010 style bumper. The uh, Typically the bumpers on these trucks have been pushed, beat, or they're just plain sagging on these things. Uh, this truck's a pretty prime example of that. So we've got these brackets here that will make a pretty easy direct replacement for the uh, for the 2008 to 2010 Super Duty bumpers. Um, you basically just unbolt the factory bracketry that was on the back of the bumper, unbolt your factory bumper, bolt these on, bolt it to the truck. These brackets here are, are our design. Um, you know, maybe not necessarily reinventing the wheel, but you know, offering a powder coated version so you don't have to paint them or send them off to be powdered or anything like that. You get them in the mail, they're going to come powder coated with a high quality powder coat on them. That, uh, that'll keep you guys up north from having rusty brackets holding on your new bumper. So, we're going to get started. So not only was the bumper bent and shimmed once before, the uh, frame rail is also bent. Uh, they must have hit something pretty good. So this bumper's going away. I gotta straighten that frame rail out, then we'll get the brackets on the 6.4 bumper, the 08 bumper. So now we're looking at the bumper. This is the top. That's the bottom. Um, these are where the factory bolt holes go through on the 05 and up truck or 08 and up truck. We gotta take these four bolts out take this bracket off, new brackets will go in its place. Bear with me. I haven't done this before. My truck, my uh, my other truck, my dually, it's got a 6.4 bumper on it, but it's highly modified. I cut it all up to make it fit more like a roll pan than a bumper. So we're learning together. I'm thinking you have to take this other clip out, put a clip in the top so it can capture your bolt. Or you can use a nut and a bolt from a hardware store if you so want to. Reuse your old bolts and clips if they're not too rusty. Down in Texas, not a problem. Looks like you're gonna have to take these little shields off. You can be more gentle with yours. So this piece here, actually, touches the body, the uh, core support. So, to make this fit, you do have to trim it. Mine, was already broken to here. I'm going to finish taking it off. I'm going to get a new one and I'm going to trim it then. But just so you know, this sits probably three or four inches past the bumper. You trim that off and it'll fit.
told you I hadn't done this before. Now, we gotta trim those. So in conclusion, Seth now has a 6.4 bumper on his truck. Seth? Yes. It's pretty straightforward. Had to... Uh, it beat the... Yeah. Beat the wonky jaw of mm -hmm. the, the factory bumper. Yep. So we had to had to trim the uh, frame horns. Mm -hmm. And you gotta trim the, the plastic bumper pad that's on top of the bumper. But you don't have to trim the actual bumper. So, so it's a pretty forward, straightforward bolt in. Yeah. And batteries ran out in the camera so we couldn't uh, really go over it too much at the end but so now uh, y'all get to see my face and Pete yes and there's there's Molly down there but um, it's pretty straightforward there's not a whole lot to it just the trimming on the frame horns because it'll get in the way of the bu actual bumper and if you've got the hardware from the 08 bumper it works you know all the hardware just uses yep both I didn't I didn't buy any hardware so awesome there you go, folks. We now have redesigned 6.4 bumper brackets on the shelf and ready to go. Don't forget to always like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more inform informative videos and content. Yep. And you can see Pete. What you doing? <laughs>